back again. And um, where I left off is the grape. I'm preparing the juices from my grape and plum that I have and uh, for the jelly. And I'm going to go ahead and turn it off. And what I'm going to get started on, make sure that's stirred. And then I'm just going to cover it up to kind of keep all the flavors in there and just turn it off and just keep all the flavors in there. Make sure you, you mash up your grapes. I meant to mention that on the um, jelly. So if you're watching these um, videos, I'm putting up quite a few videos on canning. So um, also I wanted to mention that when you're measuring, use a calculator because you may have like eight pounds of plums versus four pounds or three pounds and then you want to measure or it might be off and you might have to use a little bit of division it's really easy if you're if you're weighing your product you have a nice wear like this <laughs> a nice one like this I put a plastic bag over it so that it doesn't get wet inside and so you par it and then you, by what, what I mean by pouring is you set it on a flat surface, of course. You turn it on, and, you, and it's going to say uh, 0.8 pounds. Make sure it's on the pounds and not the ounces. It does have the grams in there, grams, ounces, and pounds. I use the pounds. So, and say I par it. And so, uh, that means I'm going to bring it back to a zero. And say I have 1.5 pounds, 1.58 pounds, that's almost 1.6 pounds. I round it off to the higher number. So I'll write down 1.6 pounds of grapes. And say the other one is 2.3 pounds of peaches or whatever, and the other fruit. And so I add them up, I tally it up. 2.3, 1.8 is 1, and you carry the 1 over, <laughs> and that's going to be 4.1. So what is 1? So, I mean, you have to kind of figure out the ounces of 0.1 pound. And, um, and so you might use some divisions. I just finished doing um, measurements on my... On my um, my ripe and underripe plums, which is 2.6, and then it's 1.6 grapes, and then that came up to 4.2, and then I added, and it was so all together was 4.8 pounds. So, what I basically did was take the 0.8 and I divided it by 16. That's why you need a calculator, unless you're a genius in math. So, I use a calculator, and then it came to 0.5, so 0.5 half is a half a pound, right? 0.5 is one half a pound. If you want to get more technical, you put um, 10, no, I don't know. <laughs> Anyways, I'm like, <laughs> I can figure it out, but <laughs> I have very short time. So basically, I have 4.5 pounds of fruit. So I'm writing everything down because I don't know exactly how much juices I'm suspecting like eight cups maybe seven so anywhere between six to eight cups of of my grape and my um, my grape and my uh, uh, plum juice so real quick I'm going to make this barbecue sauce and when I was in um, I believe it was South Carolina or North Carolina Sumter Sumter <laughs> anyways they had a delicious barbecue sauce and it's called um, South Carolina barbecue sauce that they have in the market and it's um, a golden sauce which basically made out of mustard now I was told that mustard came before the tomato barbecue sauce so that's something worth looking into so I had half of my peach jelly jam actually it's not a jelly jam I had a peach salsa jam leftover 
and so I called it um, Sweet Spicy Peach Salsa Jam. It's made out of the Golden Heirloom Tomatoes. And so I kept half of it because I wanted to make some barbecue sauce. So I'm going to attempt making this barbecue sauce. We're going to make it together and see how it turns out, right? Okay, so here we go. I'm going to set some of this stuff aside because I need my chopping board. And see, as you see, I have all kinds of ingredients here. I even have a smoked red pepper. I wanted to bring a little bit of redness in there. And then I went ahead and I, I, I roasted it. And so over the fire, my up, my up on top of the stove, and I'm sweating it. And then plus two jalapeno, two red jalapeno peppers. So I want to get started and get, um, make this beautiful barbecue sauce. It's going to be really delicious. I'm going to go ahead and um, get my onions already started. To, I'm going to mince up my onions, right? Mince them babies up. Right. Where are my culinary skills, right? I mean my knife skills. <laughs> my little trash in. I want you to make sure you see that. And this barbecue sauce, I'm telling you, you're going to love it. So I'm going to heat up my skillet and I found this beautiful walnut, roasted walnut oil, which is handcrafted and um, Susan, Susan Valley of California. I never know how to pronounce this stuff. So I'm just going to go ahead and put it about Go ahead, go ahead and put about a tablespoon, a tablespoon of this wonderful roasted walnut oil, the best walnut oil that I've tasted so far. Um, uh, I don't know if I can say it. Glash, glash, glash Hawthorns. Yum! It's got some delicious, delicious, delicious. See, it looks like that. The label. I made toast out of it. It was so good. <laughs> and I put some of my um, sweet spicy peach salsa jam on it and oh, made some eggs and it was delicious. So I have a whole onion. And I'm going to go ahead and get my onion sauteed. Because my um, peach salsa jam has a little bit of onions but not as much. So I think... I, I think um, I don't know if I want to put a half onion in there. So I, and, and again, this is like an umami flavor, which is going to help and bring some wonderful flavors together in with some other ingredients. I'm going to do, probably put a whole onion in there. So I'm going to go ahead and put another onion in there. I'm kind of winging this. Uh, sometimes you can piggyback off of other people's recipes, which I found a peach, uh, a spicy peach barbecue sauce, but it's with tomatoes. But this, I'm going to use it with mustard. And because I thought bringing Cal California peaches and South Carolina tradition and yum, yum, yum. I'm laughing at myself because I'm thinking yum 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 yeah it does taste sounds good and I think that my friends is going to be a winning barbecue sauce you should make this but you have to get the ingredients for my um, spicy peach salsa jam so go ahead and put that in there as well you know i i have a facebook group and we share recipes and so we don't force each other to share recipes but you know we're, we're polite about it um i've been on some groups where it says recipe please recipe <laughs> and i'm thinking i don't know if i want to share that recipe <laughs> and, and and i'm not ready maybe when i will be <laughs> so but if you that's why I do these videos.
video. So that's my way of sharing. And then sometimes people ask, well, how much did you put of this? And how much you put of that? Basically, I'm kind of winging this thing. I'm going to add just a little bit more of this delicious, majestic, I'm going to call it majestic roasted. It's not majestic, but for me it is because it's so delicious. Um, the uh, roasted walnut oil. Just yummy. I love it. Okay, so as these are wilting up, I'm going to go ahead and get my garlic squished here. Oh, the onions are hurting my eyes. Okay. So you want to, you could use your, um, your microplane for that as well. I'm just going to mince them. I kind of like using a knife for some reason. One time I cut my knife, my finger really, my, my knife, my finger really, really bad and ended up going to the nurses. <laughs> At 50 years old, felt like a little kid. Oh well, couldn't believe I cut my can't believe I cut my finger, okay? So, and I'm going to add that. I don't want to burn my, um, my, my onions. I want my onions to be wilted. Look how pretty those are. Let me show you real quick. Can you see that? Okay. So that's going to get wilted nicely and I'm going to put some more of this garlic yummy yummy garlic so I have a lot of videos to put up and I'm hoping that this Labor Day weekend I can put them all up I'll be working on them for the rest of the day well it's not it's past labor day weekend well it's labor day actually but i think today i'm going to be working on them and then make this wonderful barbecue sauce so that i can uh have it over <laughs> some baby back ribs yeah thought maybe i have just a little treat, special treat. I really enjoy doing this. Really enjoy showing you these beautiful recipes. Okay, so there we go. So I put like three cloves in there. I have just a little bit of the garlic flavor in here. I don't have a lot of the flavor, but I do have some. And I'm gonna go ahead and add, I squeezed an orange, or, I mean a, a lemon. I squeezed the lemon, I'm gonna go ahead and add it in. Okay, yeah, let's put all this into one. I tell you that you could freeze these and use them and make some lemon water. <laughs> so I'm going to discard all the seeds, the peelings, everything since I roasted that. I'm going to put a pepper in there. Yeah, a nice red pepper, roasted pepper. And the reason why is because I do have some in my peach salsa, in my spicy sweet peach salsa jam. So many of you have never heard, many of you have never heard of, of a, um, if my chef saw me cutting the one that trained me on the knife skills, who's no longer with us, if he saw me the way I was cutting this, he'd be yelling at me probably, but he's a good guy. Lower this, because like I said, I don't really want to caramelize my onions. 
I just want them very wilted. Okay. So I'm going to go ahead and add my peppers to this. Now I did make a, I took the, the peelings of what I used in my, in my sweet spicy peach salsa made out of golden heirloom tomatoes in um, beautiful sweet peaches and I made a, a spicy tomato powder and what I did was I just took the peelings I laid them on a on a rack and I put them in the oven I warmed them in the oven as we speak we have I have some sugars that, that are warming up and I basically what I did was um, I warmed them up and then I uh, let it make sure that they don't cook but you want to hydrate them and I hydrated them and I let them sit out for a while and then I just took a grinder spice grinder or um, even a coffee grinder will work I just made like a little powder and there's a lot of flavor in that tomato which is a glutamate and it has a lot of umami in it which will is going to really bring I want to use this word but really bring all these delicious flavors um, together oh my gosh um, it's gonna make this delicious barbecue sauce that I'm showing you how to make right now okay I'm gonna take my other two peppers I don't want the seeds in them. I'm going to discard the seeds because then to me that's going to be too spicy and I don't want it too spicy. I'm going to go ahead and take as much as peeling as I can off. I want the flavor of that jalapeno. And I also have serranos in there so that's okay. So you just become a little chemist. Okay. So my stuff, oh yeah, it's looking really good. I'm going to go ahead and add my jalapeno in there. And in the um, salsa jam has a little bite to it, so. Well, make sure you wash your hands. I try to put lemon whenever I can to take that spiciness or tomatoes. So put that in there. Rinse off your hands immediately if you're not using any kind of plastic for your hands. Oops. So you want to mix that up and you want it to look like this consistency. Okay, so now I'm going to go ahead and add my, the rest of my peach, Unpro I didn't finish processing it and that's why it's a little bit liquidy, whereas my other peach uh, jam did set because I had to complete the processing on that, where it didn't set in the beginning and I thought it was going to end up being some uh, a dipping sauce which is would have been fine that was harsh so I'm going to take some spoons out because I'm going to be tasting these as I go right I'm going to take out several spoons I want to see where this is going oh. the onions just bring it to a whole different it brings that savory in there so I want to bring that into a nice boil. Okay. Now I'm going to add. Let's add. Let's say about a good a couple of tablespoons of this wonderful whole grain Dijon mustard. Yeah. Then I'm going to go ahead and add. Well, that's about a half a cup. 
of mustard. Crazy, right? So I want that um, mustardy flavor. You could use mustard powder if you have it. And so I brought other flavors. You know, I want to, if I want to adjust it, I could um, add a little bit of honey, brown sugar. I'm going to put some, that's about what, one third cup of Worcestershire, Worcestershire sauce. Okay, doing something, kind of bring that together. I'm going to go ahead and try it again because I really want to know where this is going. This is where you adjust your seasonings and you put down, sorry I have this, it's from the smoke in our area. Remember, cleaning up while you cook always makes the food taste better. For some reason, it does. 